Pregnancy and childbirth are special times in the lives of many women. Along with the physical changes of childbearing and giving birth, a woman may also go through emotional changes as she prepares for motherhood. While many would feel happy and excited, it is also common to experience other mixed emotions. Some may be struggling to cope with a pregnancy. Others may be anxious and overwhelmed with the enormous responsibilities they feel caring for and nurturing a new life. About 3 to 5 out of 100 mothers who recently delivered will develop postnatal depression of at least moderate severity that require clinical attention. It may occur within the first 3 to 6 months or any time during the first year after delivery. Depressive illness can range from mild to severe including low mood irritability, poor sleep and appetite, loss of interest, loss of confidence and feeling guilty for no good reason, feeling hopeless or even suicidal in severe depression. Often, it is accompanied by anxiety symptoms such as feeling tense, palpitations, feeling breathless, chest tightness, panic attacks such as strong feelings of terror that come suddenly, excessive worries. Some women may also have obsessional symptoms such as intrusive unpleasant thoughts about harm coming to your baby or family, irrational fears of dirt and disease leading to urges to clean or wash repeatedly. Usually, these symptoms start soon after childbirth but are often unnoticeable until 2-3 to three months after delivery. Also, the symptoms may vary depending on each individual. There are many factors that contribute to the development of postnatal depression such as hormonal, biological, psychosocial and emotional changes. If the new mother had past episodes of depression or there is a family history of depression, then she may have a higher risk of developing postnatal depression. Some women may be reluctant to seek treatment because they think then they must take medication. However, there are actually medications that are safe for breastfeeding also, there are other treatment modalities available such as psychological support, psychotherapy and social intervention. If left untreated, postnatal depression can affect mother-infant bonding and other interpersonal relationships. Over time, it can increase the risk of the children developing behavioural and emotional problems. Some causes for postnatal depression include emotional difficulties adjusting to the new role of being a mother, unpleasant confinement experiences, distress about weight gain, body shape changes, sleep deprivation from having to attend to baby's night feeds, marital discord, lack of social support, financial difficulties and family problems. One can recover from mild postnatal depression with the support from your family physician, family and friends. However, if your depression is at least of moderate severity, you should consult a specialist for treatment. Delaying treatment can affect not only your well-being, but also the cognitive and emotional development of your infant. Six tips for keeping emotionally well during and after pregnancy. Getting into a routine. Planning your activities around your baby will help you feel better in control of your life. Do allow flexibility to changes as an infant's feeding and sleeping patterns may change over time. Taking care of yourself. Allow time for yourself to rest or to do little things that you enjoy. Eating well and exercising. Eat well to ensure that you have the right nutrition needed to carry your baby or to recover from childbirth. Talking to someone. Talking to your husband friend, a doctor or counsellor about your thoughts and feelings is also a great way to release your pent-up emotions. Writing your thoughts down. Penning down your thoughts and feelings in a diary can help you to gain better perspective of what happened and how things have affected you. Getting people to help. 
Coping with pregnancy or a newborn can be an enormous stress for many people. Do not be embarrassed about getting the help that you need. You would need to rest and conserve your energy for you and your baby. In KKH, the Department of Psychological Medicine provides care to women with psychiatric disorders during pregnancy and the postnatal period. Treatment includes interpersonal therapy which focuses on interpersonal relationships and cognitive behavioural therapy which addresses faulty thinking. We also have support groups where women can share their difficulties and learn coping strategies from one another. When the depression is more severe, medication may be required. If you are pregnant and had depression in your last pregnancy or find it difficult to cope with your emotions, we recommend that you seek advice from your gynaecologist or the Department of Psychological Medicine. With the encouragement and reassurance from your loved ones, mothers with perinatal depression can benefit greatly and have a more enjoyable motherhood experience.